Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this session I am going to talk about how you can send the email with file attachment from SharePoint list item. This is the most common question that is asked on my YouTube channel that let's say for an example we have a SharePoint list and as a list item attachment I am attaching some file. Now I want to send all of the uploaded file as an email attachment in a single go when an item is created. So how can I achieve this requirement? Let's talk more about this thing in detail throughout this session. One more important announcement. I have launched my own Instagram page where I am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform. So don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. The Insta ID is available in the description box. So without wasting much time, let's get started. But before that, here is an intro. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have created one leaves list. Now first of all let me show you the end outcome that I want to achieve here. First of all I am creating a new item over here and I am attaching some of the documents over here. And I am just clicking on save. Now what happen here is whenever I am creating a new item at that time I need all the uploaded file as an email attachment. And here you can see that I just received one email attachment with all the uploaded file as a list attachment in SharePoint list. So how we can achieve this kind of requirement? Let's talk about that thing in detail. So to achieve this requirement, I am going to create one power automate flow. First of all, let me show you the overall step and then we will create the flow step by step. So first of all, we are triggering our flow on the item creation. Then we will get the attachment from the created file. Then we are initializing one array variable which will loop on the attachments and combine all the attachment in a single variable. And then we pass this variable to our send an email action to send all the attachments in a single go. So now let's create this entire flow from scratch with me. First I am going to create a new instant cloud flow. Go to the new flow and click on automated cloud flow and select an action when an item is created. Just click on create and just provide the name of your flow. Now from here let's select the site address. So my site is lives list. And my list name is lives. Then add a next step for get attachments. Search for get attachments. And you will find this section get attachments. Over here as well, let's provide the site address and list name. So my site address is lives list and my list name is lives. And here we need to provide the ID. So in the ID, we need to provide the ID when an item is created. So just click on dynamic action and provide ID over here. Then add a next step to initialize one array variable. So just initialize one variable and just provide a variable name as file attachment content. Provide its type as array. Then we need to add an action called get attachment control. So search for get attachment content. So you will find this action. Now here also provide the site address, list name. So first of all, we need to provide ID of the list item the file is attached to. So basically you simply need to click on add a dynamic value and you just need to provide ID column from when an item is created section. So just add an ID. Then you need to provide file identifier. So file identifier is something which we will get from get attachment section. So just click on dynamic value and from here there is an option ID right from get attachments right. So just select that value and that will add 
automatically one apply to each loop on top of that. So let's add this ID over here. And here you can see that apply to each has been added automatically on top of that. Right now add a new action and let's append our array variable. So add an action append to array. Append to array variable and just provide our variable file attachment content and here you need to provide value. So first of all add curly braces and now we need to provide two variable. Here we need to provide key value pairs in a form of name. So double quotes type name then colon then press enter type a name as content bytes make sure this two key names should be exactly same now press space and now let's add the value so first of all we need to pro search for display name so let's search for that so from get attachments add display name same way for content bytes once you add display name press comma then on content bytes just press the dynamic action and search for attachment content this is the attachment content so let's add that right so it has appended to this array variable right now from just go out of this loop and add a next step and just add an action send an email send an email v2 now just provide the email address so i'm just adding my static email address at this moment but you can send any email address and let's provide subject multiple files from sp list right and I will just type a message hello please find attached document right and just click on show advanced option and from here go to the attachment over here you will be find this transform icon just click on that and over here just provide your array variable just click on that and from dynamic content select the variable that you just initialize that is file attachment content so let's add that and just save our flow right so we are good to go our flow has been created successfully now let's do one thing let's create a new item in the sharepoint list and test our flow i am going here I'm just adding another live type. Now let's add some attachments here. So I'm attaching some files here. So I have attached six files at this moment. And let's save the file. So you can see that my list attachment has been stored successfully. Now let's wait to trigger a flow and check the flow run. And here we are. We have successfully received one email with six attachments. One, two, three, four, five and six. Right. So our flow ran successfully. Let's check the flow run. It just ran 38 seconds ago. And you can see that when an item is created to the SharePoint list, first of all, it got the attachments. Then it is initializing variables. When to apply to each loop. Get attachment content. Then it is appending different things to the array variable. And at last, it is sending all the attachment together in an email. So this is really cool and amazing. If you have any question, you can add your question in the comment section. 
If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. I am uploading regular content related Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint every day on my channel. So make sure that you never miss any updates from my channel. If you wanted to follow me on all my social media handles and wanted to connect me, all the icons are available here. If you wanted to looking for any consultancy or training, here is the website. Click on that. It will be redirecting you to this page. Go to the contact section and fill out the form and I will reach out to you. If you are interested for following me on different social media handles, here is the link to the URL. Click on that. You will find all my social media handles from here. If you are interested for different power platform related short tips and tricks, follow me on my Twitter account as well as my Instagram account. If you are wanted to learning from Instagram, click on this Instagram icon. I would recommend everyone to follow me on my Insta handle because I am uploading different short tips and tricks exclusively only on my Instagram. So do follow me so you will never miss any updates from my Instagram. Insta ID is very simple which is power platform guy. Just search my ID in the search box and you are good to go. So do follow me on my Insta handle and you will never miss any updates from my Instagram. Also if you are interested for only podcast related audio then click on this audio podcast icon and from here you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on your favorite podcast platform like Google podcast, Apple podcast, Spotify and much more. This is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.